All right, welcome back. I am uh, getting ready to watch Zack Starr's uh, Engineering Students Be Like Part 2. Uh, I love Zack Starr. This dude, he is hilarious. Uh, if you like the video, head over to his channel, like and subscribe. The uh, link to the original video will be in the description. Uh, and if you're feeling generous, maybe like and subscribe here as well, but it's entirely up to you. Uh, let's get into it. We launched STEM merch store. More on that and some of the products we have after the skit. We got this here. Everyone else have a test? We all good? Okay, you guys have exactly one hour to finish. You can begin now. Let's get through. I've never met anyone that Beep. bad. I'd have that face too. What? Hey, I'm so sorry, Mom. Do you think it'd be possible for you to shut the f <laughs> up? Thank you. This is a blank canvas. Oh, I can easily fit this equation here. You know, if I kind of wind the equation through the gaps, it totally fits. Okay, not even in this class, but better put some of these equations on here just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that before. Better put it on the note card. Hmm, should I put F equals MA on here? I mean, I know it by heart, but I might forget it for some <laughs> reason during the test. Better put it on the note card. This is going to be so easy to read on test day. <laughs> Should I put Schrodinger's equation on the cheat sheet for our dynamics <laughs> final? No, you don't need to know Schrodinger's equation for dynamics. I'm going to put Schrodinger's equation <laughs> on the cheat sheet for our dynamics final. Oh, me, 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 me. Yeah, um, so would that circuit have been used in Iron Man's suit? <laughs> like, in that one scene, he was all like, pew! And then the goop lady was all like, oh no, help me! And he was all like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Yeah, would that circuit have been used? <laughs> so, would the net force on the center beam still be zero if the bridge were at the center of a black hole? How do you solve Navi or Stokes? I could use a million bucks. <laughs> so, could planes still fly if wind only moved through the fourth dimension? So, you guys have any questions? Oh, oh, me, 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 no, me, 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 I don't think so. Maybe someone in the back of the room? Yes, what? How does a phone work? <laughs> Fucking magic! Oh, okay, we're out of time. Well, I'll see you guys on Monday. So how'd you do it? I don't know. I guess I just got lucky. Okay, let's look at the I facts. Really let's look at the facts. After the midterm, I find you in the dorm, ask you how you think you did. You say, and I quote, Dude did so bad, would be lucky if I got even one question right. Honestly, didn't even study for that test. And you pull the highest grade in the class. Now, how do you explain that? Maybe this stuff just comes naturally to me or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Root locus plus would just come naturally to you, right? Do you think anyone's going to buy that? I think a jury of my peers will understand. <laughs> Your peers f hate you, bro. I got 12 angry men ready to beat the sh out of you because they actually studied for their test and barely passed with the curve that you ruined. Ow. Yeah, so I've been interning at NASA since I was three. <laughs> so yeah, while well, you were coding Hello World, I was an intern coding Hello World of Warcraft, right? <laughs> what are you doing for your final lab project? I'm not sure. I was thinking of maybe do that's so cool. Oh, what am I working on? Well, I think I want to make like a drone that's a sensor on it that can see through walls. And there'll also be a lightsaber attached what? to it. So like, yeah. Sorry, what were you working on again? Uh, right. Yeah. Um, I was gonna design something either on the. Not computer. even listening. So I think I'm gonna be able to sell my drone to Boeing when I'm done with it. 
and then I'll use that money to buy Bowen. <laughs> but, yeah, your project sounds cool. I'd say finishing two programming assignments in one night is the closest I've been to a threesome. <laughs> I asked if you were done on the computer. <laughs> In fact, I programmed Hello World before I could say Hello World. But I mean, like, hey, you're catching up. I'm just saying, if you use a lookup table, you're a bitch. Oh my god. Yeah, I heard you. Now for the last time, what do you want on your pizza? All right, you take that one. I think we're good. Everyone has a test? Yes? Okay, perfect. Now, note for number three, where you have to solve for the equation of motion for the pendulum spring system. I want you guys using Schrodinger's equation for that Are one. What? Serious? Yeah, that was the surprise I was talking about <laughs> earlier. All right, big fun. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Beep. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that, that one. That was good. Uh, before we go, two things I want to say. One, if you'd like to get yourself some of the merch you saw in this video from the clothing to the Mandelbrot phone case to other fractal designs the engineering clock some math and science toys and more then go check out the newly launched stem merch store this is a business collaboration I'm doing with flammable maths we've been working on the website for several weeks now so check out the link below to look through all the products and merchandise that we have there absolutely I, I am gonna check out that website actually uh, I like some of the stuff that I've seen so far yeah, I love watching these videos. Zach Zach has a uh, has a, a real talent making you laugh about this stuff. Uh, so yeah, head over to his channel, give him a like and a subscribe if uh, if if you're feeling gracious. Feel free to do the same here. I'm not saying you have to. It's completely up to you. But until next time, be notorious. <laughs>